Hello and welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me on this review. We're going to be looking at the Aztec Dragon. This was the first in the World of Dragon series of coins. Um, currently not available, however the mintage has been released. They've lim uh, limited mintage of 30,000 of these. Um, I've had a look around, the premiums on them are pretty high now, but if you'd managed to bag some when they first came out, you would have definitely have, uh, have scored there. And based on the Aztec round, the uh, Aztec round still going for good money, but definitely worth a look. But let's take a look. Right, this beast um, is called Quatsu Quadl, which is uh, based on Aztec legend. It is a serpent, um, half bird, sort of half dragon. You can tell here by the feathers for those that have noticed. It's actually not just a dragon, but there are feathers depicted in it. Um, it's actually a uh, sort of a hybrid um, cross bird slash dragon, um, and um, it's in Aztec, Aztec legend and folklore. Obviously, we have an Aztec pyramid here as well, which is uh, very nice for uh, detail. Um, and it's also got the Aztec, obviously the Aztec dragon. Uh, very nicely uh, designed in regards to it. Obviously, history in that is um, obviously in regards to the Aztecs. Um, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of history. Not as uh, a lot of history as depicted as per the Aztec calendar around. Because when we flip it over, you'll see what I mean. Right, so as we look on the other side here, we've got World of Dragons. We've got this fantastic eye detail. And then it's got one Troy ounce, uh, three nines fine silver stamped in with a lovely contrast in the actual lettering. So what I was saying in regards to the Aztec round is you've got a fair amount of history on the front and the back. Whereas the World of Dragons, obviously a beautiful eye. However, not much history is depicted here. Obviously, this is a uh, dragon eye. Uh, don't get me wrong, the finish and the, and the quality um, of the design is very good. So uh, hence why I'll be I'll be looking at um, giving it the score. Um, it won't be top marks as per the Aztec round, but it'll be very close to it. You'll be looking at a four out of five for history. Let's look at design here. So we've got a exceptional. You can see here these dragon scales, um, or the uh, in regards to the uh, the reptilian skin, all very well detailed here. Um, I mean they've done it. They've done a fantastic job here in regards to the eye detail. You've got this big open eye. Uh, with the center the, obviously in regards to the lettering lettering is lost you can clearly see it on the sides here uh, so the design on that is it is very good let's check let's check the other side and again here we have um, the serpent um, you can see here feathers um, at the top here you've also got uh, some very fine detail in, in regards to the face and the eyes the eye detail you can clearly see it there it's mouth wide open uh, the neck you can see here the reptilian skin feature the feathers on the wings and even on the tail uh, exceptionally well done and then you've also got the Aztec pillar detail um, let's bring that around there so uh, it's for design and that's four out of five and finish as well you've got this fantastic finish it's similar to the Aztec round as you've got the sort of silver matte finish here with the contrast it doesn't it doesn't lose of it tend to be when you see a lot of the coins and that you tend to you tend to lose some of the detail if it's the same finish but they've done a really good job here. They had the sort of matte finish here and the sort of a, a brighter kind of silver contrast. Very nice. And then the rim detail is in matte as well, which is awesome. So for finish, we're going to be looking at a four out of five. Uh, the mintage has been officially released and they've only minted 30,000 of these. So low mintage in regards to what are the coins out there. If you have a look at my board, uh, which we'll see in a minute, we've got the Koala limited at a couple of hundred thousand. Um, so still a fair amount, whereas 30,000 is, um, isn't really a lot. So, you know, for mintage, I'm giving them a four out of five, um, which I think is still pretty good. Right. The final category we're looking at is premium. Now, obviously if you'd bought these, uh, when they were released, um, you'd be bagging a bargain. Now, unfortunately, if you have a look, they're going for up end of $30 between let's say 25 to $30. So if anyone's looking at this now and wondering, yeah, I want to get one of them. Premiums are going to be quite high on this. Um, so however, I've got to look at today's uh, today's date in regards to premiums. I can't say, yeah, well, if you bought it, it would have been such and such. However, if this was still available, um, I would have given it a far higher premium uh, premium score. I'm giving it one out of five, mainly because now you can't really get hold of them. Uh, the only way you can get hold of them is either on the second air market um, or eBay or so on. So um, I'm giving it one out of five. Um, so let's have a look at the scoring. Right, let's get the scoring charts. So here we go. We have the coin rating here, and uh, we can see Aztec coin uh, grant a total score of 17 out of 25, which I think is still pretty respectable. 
So let's look at the overall board. And uh, the leader there is the Aztec Calendar Round at 19, followed by the Aztec Dragon Round at 17, and the ASC at 17. So um, they're the first two rounds. Um, so I think the scoring there is pretty fair. We're adding more now, so I'll be adding more to it shortly. Um, once I get more, um, I've got a few more rounds to do. Uh, so I look forward to doing them, and then we can update the board. Thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please like, comment down below. I look forward to your comments as usual. And um, I've made it easy by putting the subscribe button here, and I've included two other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.